So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel I hope you guys are doing great and today's video I'm gonna talk about how you can create that kind of fluid simulation using the blender that's really easy and cool trick so I'm gonna show you step by step how I did this and in the next part I will talk about how we can add the shaders and textures also to creating a realistic water simulation but in this video I will gonna talk about only the process basically how we create that kind of simulations and uh, if you need an expert please make sure you comment down below I'll definitely make an expert so first of all what I'm gonna do basically I'm gonna delete everything I'll just keep this bowl here apart from that I will delete everything so first of all for creating any kind of simulation you need a three things basically first you need a domain all right domain is like where you you just tell the blender that uh, fluid simulation will be happen surrounding the object second we need like a flow object flow object is like where the fluid gonna flow and third is like collision collision like where the fluid gonna collide and with whom the fluid gonna collide basically so three things we need for a fluid simulation it's called dfc and dfc is the like short form all right so now let's start it so first of all we have already like rc this is rc so we'll add first our uh, d so for that i'm just gonna use a cube basically i'm just going on my front view and i'll just keep it here and I'm just gonna edit mode of my cube select the top view wanna move it little bit upside I think that much does look nice to me yeah this is enough for me all right and I will also add my like F object also so UV sphere will be our F object so I'm gonna scale it down and keep it here and after scaling I will just apply the scale to right click and shade in auto smooth alright so this is our C this is our D or this is our F alright so this is all things we need for creating a fluid simulation now everything is good to go now we'll add some settings here alright so basically if I will select this our domain I'll go to my physics tab and here I'm just gonna add a fluid and it will ask for what kind of object you want to be create this so I want to be create a D like a domain and I will definitely change the domain type as a liquid because we are working on the liquid basically apart from that right now you don't need to like play with any settings and after that I will select my F object I'll again add the fluid I will select the type as a flow and of course I'll change the flow type as a liquid because of course we are working on the fluid and third is the C uh, basically which is I have already added but I'm gonna like again edit and I'll select as a effector and here is called collusion basically all right so our setup is good to go now here you can see this is our flow object and we will definitely change this flow behavior as a geometry to inflow and what is the difference between the geometry and inflow geometry is like it will one time flow into the uh, pot but if you will change the geometry as an inflow it will continuously and consistently uh, like uh, flowing the fluid from this uh, what we can say flow object okay so here you can see we are getting continuously uh, fluid from our flow object but here is the one problem here you can see that fluid is not containing inside our uh, czar basically so for that what we have to do we have to select our collision object and here is an option it's called basically surface thickness okay so what is does exactly basically so surface thickness is like i'm gonna show you here again so for example this is your pot okay and when that fluid is going to like collide with that so there is no collusion surface according to the blender that's why it is not uh, like uh, containing in, inside the jar it is going out from the jar but that surface thickness create a fake collusion basically I'm gonna show you again it will create create a fake collusion surface something like that and now if I will just flow the fluid so it will contain into the jar so here you can see I'm gonna show you so I have did lots of uh, like uh, calculation and I found the 0 0.5 is like best for the surface thickness now here you can see the water gonna contain into the jar and that look awesome all right 
so you can like uh, play around 0.45 to 0.5 both setting gonna work very nicely here you can see all it but i will prefer you do five because after uh, like baking this uh, fluid into the mesh some uh, fluid gone out of the jar so if you keep the setting 4.5 but if you will keep 0.5 so it will not gonna like outside the jar so now here you can see everything is good to go now there is one problem basically uh, when that fluid gone inside this jar and it gonna basically outflow from this very quickly okay here you can see when this jar going to fill i have to stop the flowing fluid from this flowing object so for that what we need what we have to do we have to see where the jar going to fill i think 90 is the way where the jar going to fill so what we have to do so what i will do i will just select my flow object and uh, i will hover my mouse on this uh, flow use flow option and i'll just press the i and here you can see it will automatically add one key here basically and after that i will just go to my 90 frame and i'll just uncheck that and again i'm gonna press the i so now here you can see from the 88 frame to 90 frame that flow object gonna stop the flowing fluid from itself so now here you can see this is something and yeah that's look awesome by the way all right now this is look nice by the way this is looking awesome all right so here you can see our half of work is done now everything is good to go now what we will do basically we'll just uh, select our domain and change the resolution at least 64 so basically what is does the res resolution so higher the resolution you will get a smoother uh, fluid and less the uh, resolution you will get a very like low poly fluid so you can also like put the 128 according to your system configuration i'm not going to like uh, advise you to increase because sometime that might be cause to like uh, crash your blender so please play with the setting very wisely while doing the uh, like fluid simulation and also look first to your system configuration Alright, everything is good to go. So here I will just change the flip as a AP, epic. Alright, and uh, I will also click this diffusion one and choose as a water. Okay, and here is the three option oil, honey, and uh, and these options are really going to do very good job. So if you are really working on the oil and honey, you can use these presets. It's gonna very nicely work. But I'm not going to do uh, work with water. I will keep it water, and. Uh, here you can see apart from that everything is look, look good to me and now here you can see this simulation gone a little jaggy because uh, i have increased the what we can say resolution so right now i'm just gonna keep it at the 64 so at least i can show you here now it's good to go okay but when you are doing your final bake make sure you just do 128 at least you will get a little bit good fluid as you have seen in the beginning of this video all right everything is good to go now what I'm going to do basically, I will uh, bake this whole simulation into the mesh. Okay, so I'll just click this mesh and I'll just increase the upper factor little bit four. So what is this the upper factor, factor basically? It will help to smooth our mesh more uh, basically. Okay, and uh, will also like, uh, I think everything is good to go from this end. I'll select my flow object and uh, yeah i think here is everything is good to go we don't need to change any settings i think one settings i need to change which is called uh, like uh, what we can say all right so there is one option it's called basically time scale and right now it's by default set as a one and what it does exactly basically so what happens exactly if you need a little fast fluid so you can just increase this time scale one to four and when you set this four so you will get a fast simulation rather than the normal simulation okay so this is very good option you have to definitely try this so i will just set as a four and here you can see okay so now what i will do basically i am going to bake everything because everything is good to go and uh, after, before baking that make sure you select your uh, what we can say 
baking folder where all the open video file gonna store it because because after baking that you will get all the open video file and you can just move this open video file from blended to any software any simulation for software like houdini and unreal engine if you want to okay so i'll just change as a replay to all and here we will uh, here we will get the options called bake all so i'm just gonna click it bake all but before doing the bake all i'll just change the folder yeah accept and bake so it will take a little bit of time according to our system configuration so i'm just gonna skip this process i'll, I'll okay and i will show the the final output to you so all that guys here you can see after baking everything here is the result and that's look awesome by the way here you can see this is awesome and now here you can see uh, you have a little question about it how it's going to very fast so as i told you we have set the time scale one to four and that's why that simulation gonna let uh, 4x um, 4x faster in their normal speed basically that's why we are getting that much fast fluid simulation and this look nice by the way when it's like filling out this look awesome by the way all right guys so that's how you can like create a fluid simulation using the blender i hope you understand how you can do that here i have shown you uh, every step uh, in details and i told also which option work how so i hope you understand and if you need a second part of this video make sure you just comment down below i'll definitely make the uh, second part where i'll show you how you can add the material into your uh, like fluid simulation and create a uh, like water seem like a realistic water so stay tuned with me guys and if you enjoy this video please hit the like button and the share and subscribe my channel also so thanks for watching the video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries or session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all